Do you think it is in fact true that the atheist position uh, and perhaps the agnostic position, may, uh, maybe you can distinguish those two if they need to be distinguished, do those positions rely on faith? And, and what is the faith that it takes to be an atheist? What is, what is it that they have to have faith in? Well, if we're using faith in the modern sense, which is if you don't have evidence, you just believe blindly, maybe even against the evidence, Dinesh. In fact, that's how Richard Dawkins has put it. I think the atheists have to have a lot more faith than Christians. Why? Because there's very good evidence that Christianity is indeed true, that God does exist and Jesus rose from the dead and the New Testament writers were recording accurately what they observed. And if that's the case, then Christianity is true. Whereas the atheists have to believe against the evidence, for example, that the universe popped into existence out of nothing and by nothing. You've probably heard people say, Dinesh, that, you know, you have to have atheists will say this to Christians. Are you going to say Jesus rose from the dead or, or or any other claims of Christianity? Well, that's an extraordinary claim and you need extraordinary evidence. They'll say that all the time. Right. But here they are, Dinesh, atheists admitting that space, time and matter had a beginning out of nothing. And they're saying that it happened without a cause. Like, for example, Lawrence Krauss says this in his book, A Universe from Nothing. He says the whole universe came into existence without a cause. Now, that is an extraordinary claim, Dinesh. And yet, do they have extraordinary evidence for it? No, in fact, they have absolutely no evidence for it. In fact, there's evidence against it because the fundamental law of science is every effect has a cause and the universe is an effect. So what's the evidence that it came into existence without a cause? There isn't any. They're violating their own principle. So if space, time and matter had a beginning without a cause, as Richard Dawkins admits, as Stephen Hawking admits or admitted, then whatever created space, time and matter must transcend space, time and matter. In other words, the cause must be spaceless, timeless, immaterial, powerful to create the universe out of nothing, personal in order to choose to create and also intelligent to have a mind to create. So I always ask people. When you think about a spaceless, timeless, immaterial, powerful, personal, intelligent cause, who do you think 